All right, cue the royalty-free music. This is the part where I tell you how life-changing the trip was. How because I got up and left my island, I'll never be the same. Well, that's not really what happened. So here's my best effort, best and sincere effort, to describe how Utah made me feel. Adventure and the feeling of freedom that comes with it are not unique to any one location or climate. But for me at least, Utah is a different beat than my home in the Pacific Northwest. Utah is open, chaotic, and has a weight of age like no other place I've ever been. My favorite thing that I saw with my dad was Corona Arch. Um, the arch obviously was amazing, but I just remember feeling smaller than I'd ever felt in my entire life, just like against the rock, because you kind of like come up against this entire bowl and you just like hike up on an angle around to the arch, and you're just up against this huge cliff face that I've basically up to that point, I've never seen anything like it, and it was <laughs> so overwhelming for me. Out of propane. What do you think? Do you think the chicken's about done? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably good to go. Utah unfurls before you in a perfect chaos of ridges, canyons, arches, hoodoos, rivers, and mountains. But soaring above them all is the relentless beat of time. Millions of years of geological upheaval reverberate just below hearing. Whether you are walking through the arches and ridges of Devil's Garden, the spires of the amphitheater, or standing at the end of the world at the island in the sky, you are left with a feeling of comforting insignificance. You stand in a jungle gym of geology and desert life. The horizon drawing you in with the promise that the next vista will be even more spectacular than the last.
out here. Like, if I wasn't talking right now, it's just silent. It's so quiet. And you can just see for forever. You just feel free. <laughs>